Ay. Ay. Okay. Ay. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Scotty Show. Today, we're going to be reacting to Cartier God. It's been requested in a comment, so we definitely got to get some Cartier God in. If y'all don't know, like, he's definitely one of the OGs of just SoundCloud or, like, cloud rap in general. Um, I mean, like, when you think of Cartier God, bro, you, you have Lil B. You, you talk, you think of, like, Lil B. You think of... Just like like Space Ghost Perk, like I have him in like OG status when it comes to to like that this style of rap and like the style that Blade uses and a lot of other rappers that use that cloud that that uh, nostalgic type like rap. Like I, I put Cartier God in that <clears throat> in that whole entire like category. It's like you know one of the OGs right next to Lil B. You know what I'm saying? So um, other than that, let, let's get into this, man. I'm, I, I've never heard some of these Cartier God songs, because I kind of, I'm not even gonna lie, I fell off listening to Cartier God, like, a while ago, you know what I'm saying, like, I, like I said, like, I, I love, like, the, the 2012 to, like, 2018, like, SoundCloud just era, like, that, that whole time period was just crazy, but, like I said, there, there's some artists from that era that I don't listen to anymore that people still listen to. And, like, you know, these artists still have fan bases and stuff like that. And it's crazy to see that they're still, like, doing things and, and still being successful, in, uh, you know, in music. So, uh, and, you know, and they can just live off that shit for a while. You know what I'm saying? Because you obviously got to pivot and do other things. But um, other than that, let's get into this video. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification button. Let's get it. First song we're gonna react to is Blade featuring Cartier God, Wet Water. Let's get it. Ocean Gang. Ocean Gang. Bro, shout out to Blade, bro. I mean, c c because, like, him just showing love to Cartier God and, like, you know, having him come out on big stages and stuff like that. Like, bro, I love when... And Blade's just consistent with showing OGs, like, love. Like, and that's how you know Blade is, like, tapped in. Like, he, he shows Black Cray love, Cartier God, and a bunch of other artists that are, like, OGs of, like, this style, you know, and, and he knows that he adopted this skill set. Like, you know, some of, like, the skill sets when it comes to making music... He adopted some of like their elements and added it to his repertoire. And, you know, we wouldn't have the Blade today if we didn't have, you know, the artists that were previous, you know, to him. So shout out to Blade for doing that, man. Man, I hope one day you guys can experience what it's like being in a green room or uh, like the room that's like, you know, behind like the stage and stuff like that. Because I, I do stand up comedy and um, being in a green room is so fun. And like you're like interacting with all the other, uh, you know, um, entertainers in the room and in comics and stuff like that. And this is just so dope. But like, I, I remember when I went to, I performed at Zany's uh, in Rosemont, Illinois. And Zanies is like one of the like biggest, you know, club names that you could like go to pretty much. Like you have it in there where like, uh, I don't know if I'll uh, put it up. Yeah, I actually will put Zanies up there, up there with like Laugh Factory, the comedy store and a lot of other like places. But yeah, like, like Zanies green room was so lit. Like it was legit like a green room. Everything, everything from the, from the ceiling, the walls and everything. And the carpet was green. Bro, they had a refrigerator where all you could drink alcohol in that motherfucker. They had a dresser in that bitch with like candy and every single like dresser. It was wild. It was it was honestly crazy and it's fun. Like and watching this, bro. This this is so lit. Like seeing everyone like behind in like the little room but behind like the stage and shit. This is fire. Ding, 
this is fire. <laughs> Bro, that was, look, he had to show he had to show Blade who was the OG of this shit, bro. This is fire. <laughs> This Kingdom Hearts rap, bro. Oh, God. video was fire i'm not even gonna hold y'all the video the song was fire the reason why i really like blaze music and like cardio god and like the cloud rap music and just like the where the vocals you know they're not perfect sounding or whatever it's just like it, it, it's not only like nostalgic to me because of, of how many things that like i've been in like involved with like whether it be video games television anime bt like and and all these because like I grew up like watching like TV you know what I'm saying you sit in front of the TV you watch like you know 106 and Park when it comes on when you come after school and then you know you watch Cartoon Network Toonami and then you have a PlayStation Two and you're playing Kingdom Hearts you're playing Dragon Ball Z <laughs> like you're playing so many different things and you're playing Kirby and finally you find out about Final Fantasy for the first time you know what I'm saying like this is just crazy like and that's like the kind of like what 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 you know, Blade and Cardio guys, like, music reminds me of, like, it just reminds me of those kind of, like, random moments in my life, or just, like, when I'm, like, you know, by myself in nature on trails and stuff like that, like, it's just blissful, like, you know, um, Kingdom Hearts, like I said, Kingdom Hearts music, if you know Kingdom Hearts soundtrack and stuff like that, you know what I'm talking about, you know, Final Fantasy soundtrack and those other things, you know what I'm talking about, but uh, we're gonna get into the next song, y'all. Next song we're gonna react to is Dust Till Dawn. Let's get it. listen to this like i'm thinking about you know watching uh uh what's the name of uh bash the stampede bro trigun i'm thinking about bash the stampede and trigun i'm thinking about spike from uh cowboy bebop and like the dog and everything and just floating in space and bro like those are the kind of things that cardio got music and blaze music and all the other people like make that style of music they make me think of bro they make me think of like old like memories like that and shit Bro, this dude created cloud rap, hyper pop, all types of styles. Like, bro, like he, bro, like, and people can be like, oh, this is a hyper pop, but like, bro, like. Who who thought of the, who thought of making the vocals like this, bro? 
who like you know who's the originator of that you know what i'm saying like using the vocals either like super high pitch super super like you know you, we do have t-pain and lil wayne and stuff like that but who took it to like the next level like you know what i'm saying i know lil b definitely but like carrier god like like i said like it's just crazy like how much he's and like and especially black cray and, and face goes perfect all these other people that use like they you know even though in three six mafia let's talk about three six mafia and their influence and now people like to use you know, 666 or like use like satanic symbolism and stuff like that in their music or a part of their image or brand. And I'm talking about rappers. I'm not talking about artists in general, but, uh, and then you have artists like Brother Lynch Hung and then, uh, what's that one dude that ate his roommate, bro? I forgot his name. I don't think it was, bro. Uh, fuck. I, 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 bro, uh, fuck, I forgot his name, but, um, yeah, like that kind of like impact and like what it did to, you know, music today like it's just insane like this chain reaction is just crazy fire music video fire song it kind of like the cars and stuff like that it kind of reminds me of Nolan B. Rowan a little bit and like the uh, how the video was shot and all like the animations and stuff like that kind of remind me of Nolan B. Rowan a little bit for some reason um but we're gonna get into the next song let's get it last song we're gonna be reacting to by Cartier God let me go feature a blade let's get it Here, mommy, a spyro. She won't let me grow. So I'm gonna hit the road. Like I'm a hindo. She's trying to get laid. I'm trying to get paid. We are two different things. We are two different things. Yo, this music video is fire. This Loki got like, remind me of like Persona a little bit. It also has like, I forgot what the other game, like uh, Dragon Quest, bro. Like, this shit's crazy. She's sweet, they wanna see the drill. This is too much for me, how it feels. Maybe I wanna keep it real. I said it's a hood, you put it was a bill. Put them all on me, here to chill. Let me go, 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 Bro, this song goes so crazy.
like the subgenre of the underground that I love the most. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like creative. Um, it feels like it always feels like fresh listening to it, or it just has like some like um, um, mindset that it puts you in that's positive in some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like that's why like I would you know I rank this like really high in my favorite you know subgenre category of uh, the underground. But uh, we'll keep this going. <laughs> And it's just the fact that they keep on trying new stuff out with music. And like, they're kind of like the ones that, you know, help push the culture forward behind the scenes. Alright, that's the end of that. So overall, I thought every single song was fire. Cardio Guys is a GOAT. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out Ocean Gang. She, you know, shout out to everybody that was a part of that. Um, it's just that, like, what Cartier God did and what he has created, it's, it's hard not to put him in the Mount Rushmore, you know, of of SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard not to put him on the Mount Rushmore. And then people would be like, oh, well, he has songs that are only got 2,000 plays or something like that. And people don't understand that, like, yeah, the plays do matter and all that other stuff, but, like... <clears throat> When it comes to like impact, you know what I'm saying? When people that like blow up bigger than Cardio God, like let's not be blind here. Blade blew up way bigger than Cardio God. And Blade recognizes that without Cardio God and without artists like Black Cray and stuff like that, that we wouldn't have what we have, you know, now. You know what I'm saying? They actually show appreciation, um, you know, to the, to the culture. Uh, so I can't, I can't be mad. I, I can't be mad at people like Blade. You know what I'm saying for for becoming rich and stuff like that because he gives he gives back to like the culture. You know what I'm saying it may not be like directly to you, but he gives it directly to you know the founders. You know what I'm saying or or, or people that you know helped uh, in, in a big way. <clears throat> but uh, other than that, man, like and that just speaks to Cartier God's you know just name and the legacy that he's gonna leave behind because people are still gonna use his style in the future. So it's not gonna go anywhere soon. But other than that, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, also, if you wanna recommend any mixtapes or uh, things like that by Cartier God, drop them in the comment section. I'll add them to the list. Um, but thank y'all for you know recommending Cartier God for me to react to them. It's been a minute since I listened to Cartier God and I haven't listened to any of those songs by Cartier God. So like that's how long it's been since I listened to, to Cartier God. So uh, thank y'all for, you know, bringing this back, you know what I'm saying, and just recommending him in the comments. Um, but other than that, this is the Scotty Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thank y'all. Peace out. Hey. Okay. Uh, hey. Hey.